Hey, what's going on, Vault Hunters? Big Bad Dirty Dog coming to you from the Dog Pound. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are back here on Borderlands 3, doing another Legendary Weapon Guide. A new series where I'm going to be reviewing every Legendary Weapon in the game, showing you where to farm it at, and giving you my thoughts and opinions on it. And this video is for F14 Forever, so if you're watching, buddy, this is for you. He suggested doing a guide on the Queen's Call which I happen to have right here. Now, if you don't know, the Queen's Call is a legendary Jacob's pistol. And the red flavor text says, life is ours, we'll live it our way which happens to be a lyric for the Metallica song, Nothing Else Matters. Very cool. And it refers to critical hits return three bullets to the magazine and ricochets three bullets to the nearest enemy, including the original target. It consumes three ammo per shot, a fixed magazine size of six. The weapon is rather hard to use if the player isn't constantly getting critical hits, as it can only fire twice without reloading unless crits are scored. This effectively makes the fire rate very low and the special effect useless. To deal with this, the player must aim carefully or use skills like Flax Fadeaway to score easier critical hits. It also works well with Amara's Deep Well skill, as it adds one more bullet to the magazine, allowing it to fire three or four times before it reloads. I happen to have a radiation variant, but it comes in Cryo, Radiation, or Corrosive. As you can see at the bottom, critical hits return three bullets to your magazine and ricochet three bullets to the nearest enemy. And this one has a pretty good anointment too. After using attack command, gain 50% of life steal for a short time. And considering in my skill tree, I am using a rack attack, and I'm also using a cosmic stalker. When and action skill damage. So with my rack attack, I'm throwing unlimited rack attacks pretty much all the time. Now, if you would like to farm one of these for yourself, you're gonna wanna go to Pandora, go to the Destroyer's Rift, where we'll be taking on a Tyrain, who unfortunately is the final boss of the game, so you're gonna have to play all the way through the play playthrough to get to the end if you would like to get this weapon. Now, it does only have a 9% chance drop rate. Fortunately for me, it took me six times to kill her before I finally got one for this video. You may take a little bit longer, or you may take a little bit shorter. Now, if you want, just to kind of try this out a little bit, we will do a quick farm of Tyrene. I'll probably die a lot. Just to kind of show you a little bit of how this weapon works. Now, there is a King's Call too, and they're pretty much the same thing. They only differ in name and elements. It kind of goes with the theme of Tyrene Troy being the twin gods. I probably won't show the whole entire fight because it's very, it takes about five to seven minutes. It's kind of long and drawn out and Tyrene has a lot of different attacks. But I'm just going to show you a little bit of what the weapon does on bosses. And I'm not even going to use Fade Away. Now, Tyrene is the dedicated drop for this weapon.
I mean, it, it does decent damage, especially giving crits. And Flack is kind of like the crit master of this game. In my opinion, this weapon is kind of better for bossing, or not bossing, for mobbing. Unless you're really good at getting critical hits, which I am not, as you can see. Well, that time wasn't too bad. And after so many hits, timing finally comes now. This is kind of a pain, I'm not very good at this, so hopefully this goes well, but you have to climb up to the back here. I told you I suck at this. Jump all the way up here. You're supposed to just stab it, there we go. And then Tyrion's head will pop out, and then this is kind of like when the more serious damage comes. Look at all the crits. So I'm going to stop the video right there so you kind of get a general idea of what the weapon does. Like I said, to me, I don't really have a strong build on my flak because this is my uh, rack attack flak. If I went back and redid it, I could do one and build it around the Queen's Call and build it around Fade Away, which is more or less what this weapon is used for. But again, it just kind of depends on what your build is. So that's going to do it for this one. As always, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button as it totally helps me out. So I'm trying to get on the Borderlands 4 content creation team. Let me know in the comments below what weapon you would like me to see to do for next time. So that's going to do it for this video. Take care of all hunters. Until next time, stay awesome, stay amazing, stay wonderful, stay fantastic, and as always,